checklist here. Checklist, checklist. Got it. Okay. Hi guys, and welcome back to a another pup date. We call these pup dates. We call these pup dates. We call these pup dates. Um, today is week five, and this is something that Kat and I do together, which is taking puppy pictures. <laughs> um, yeah. These guys are very helpful, and they are reaching that point of even more Boldness helpfulness. and confidence. Oh, yeah. They're very bold. They're very confident. Uh, so getting their photos taken and getting good photos taken of them can be <laughs> trying. Sometimes more difficult than other times, but the key to the whole process is you need to be prepared for it to take time. You need to be patient relaxed, and you need to be patient. So not only with the puppies, but with each other, because he'll be like, did you get that picture? And I'll be like, no, no, I didn't get that picture. And he'll be like, it was perfect. So we have to be patient with each other. A litter of four is typically easier than a litter of 10 or 12, just because you only have to get four puppies to look good for a very small amount of time. Um, but a litter of 12, that takes a little bit longer. So even though there's only four of them, they are super wiggly and like to move around a lot at this point. So you'll get to see how we go about the process of getting stacked photos. Ethan, We're gonna show you. Oh, and Whoa. we got an escape artist. Okay. Back so in the box. <laughs> we're gonna show you um, basically the different things that we do to try and help the pictures turn out a little better. Definitely, I'm not a professional puppy stacker, but um, we can get them to stand well and look nice. The couple things that you're gonna want are a washcloth. This is gonna help to keep the puppies clean and shiny, wiping anything off of their faces and getting them prepared for their picture. Um, you need some form of alcoholic beverage. This is really most of the time not optional. A bottle of wine, a couple of beers, something. To help you just take the edge off so you okay. can be calm and collected with these puppies. The next thing is we need some form of bait. And Chewing on my... Yeah, it's gonna happen, okay? <laughs> it's gonna happen. Um, here we're using just plain yogurt. Yogurt seems to be the key. We've tried peanut butter, we've tried all kinds of things and yogurt is you are an escaper um and yogurt is what typically seems to work the best so we're gonna go ahead and get rocking and oh and we have some nail clippers just to check those today. yep because they look like they could maybe take just the tips off of most of these guys so all righty well stay tuned guys and we're gonna get started taking pictures have a puppy all right most important here Usually the little noses can get dirty, so we wipe those bad boys off. Um, and throughout this process, they typically end up getting yogurt smeared all over their face, so they need, may need a mid-photo face wipe, so. Stir in the whey, never dump the whey. They say they that are be out of, come here, Thunder. He says he is out. I'm going to see if he'll settle on my lap for a little bit while I take these pictures. Okay, so step number one. Get a little bit on your finger and allow the puppy to lick the little bit of yogurt. It's going to be something that's new and it's going to take him a little bit to get used to. And also, then they'll go, wow, this is delicious. Yes. Also, they're going to need to take some time just to get comfortable on the table. It's going to be something new. <laughs> Running and mucking in the living room is not going to happen, though, puppies. <laughs> Not yet, not yet. Next, we're gonna set front feet. So put a little bit of pressure here and drop these feet out so that they're pretty much underneath of them. And then we're gonna bring these back legs back and we're gonna take our smidgeny of bait and help let her move forward into it to stand in a fairly normal, comfortable position. Make sure your camera or phone, whatever you're taking these pictures on, has plenty of room. Because I typically take, um, on a litter this size, probably not quite as many, but maybe a litter of 10, close to 500 pictures. <laughs> you whimpers. They're like, right. we want our 10. Think? Uh, I think we were pretty good. We can try one more lean. And again, I know for those of you that um, actually show dogs and everything else, we are not claiming to be uh, showers, we're just trying to make puppies look decent in some pictures here. 
The better put together the puppy is, the easier this process is as well, though. There typically. it is. That looked perfect. Good. I'll just double check, but yes, I'm very happy with that photo. Good. Help them stand here just a little bit longer so that the next week pictures will also be easy. Good yes, because at five weeks, that's the first week that we start standing stacked photos. Before that, they're typically sitting or um, being held and cuddled. So now we need our cute, adorable face shot. And with this, we'll just hold them. Puppy, sprinkles. Try and get ears perked a little bit. Hey. She's like, I'm not so sure about this. Looking at the camera thing. She's like, here my litter mates, scribble scrabbling. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. That was cute. Perfect. Yes, got it. All right, let me um, check nails quick. We make some pretty funny noises to try and get the puppies to look and perk their ears and pay attention to us so that we can get good puppy pictures. Oh, the whole basket. Did you lose them all? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got one still. Back in box. chunkies. I have to tell Muddy to put these babies on a diet. <laughs> They're about to the point where we can start using puppy nail clippers now. I was wondering buried. if this was uh, if their nails were big enough to switch over. Mm-hmm. Almost too big for these now. So this will be the last time we use our nail trimmers for their puppy nails, and we'll move on to actual dog <laughs> nail trimmers. Oh, really? Sounds like old. Is that thunder? It is thunder today. <laughs> Rain's being really quiet, so we're gonna do her next. Oh, Just another thing that we can try to help condition the behaviors that we want out of these puppies. Got it. <laughs> stay on, stay on. Same the thing table. here. We're gonna set her front underneath of her just a little bit there. <laughs> and get some interest in the front aspect of things. We'll set our back end here and then. Try and get her to move forward. You gotta work at it. You gotta work at it. She says, I'm not working at anything. There, she's starting to lean a little. Oh, pup, pup, pup. Okay, let's try again. Reset. Sprinkles. Puppy. Sprinklies. Usually, this size of a basket holds the puppies at this stage in the game. It looks like we're time. It's about time to upgrade to a tote. Nice lean, girl, nice lean. Sometimes you get a little bit of an overstretch in there, but overstretch kind of looks cool too. Again, not stacking puppies to show them. These are just uh, trying to get cute pictures. That what looked good. I think good? we got one. All right, wipe her face off. Whoa, really guys. And then Sprinkles just chilling in my lap. Figured it was a better place for her than back in the basket that she's just gonna hop right out of. Puppy, puppy. Let me see. Got it. Good job. Yay, good job. Right, we'll trim your nails good quick, Good job, Rain. Rain. So another thing that I wanna mention is before I brought these puppies outside, they'd been playing and sleeping in their whelping box. So I actually brought them outside to go potty since we've started that potty training process before I brought them upstairs to hopefully build on some success so that when and if they got out of their little laundry basket, 
and got on the floor, they wouldn't have a potty accident. So that is the plan, at least. It's definitely the start of conditioning those behaviors. Good job. All right. I'm going to hand you Sprinkle back and see if you can get her in the basket to stay. We'll see. Yeah, I doubt it. So now Ethan's trying to confuse over me, and he's doing Thunder next instead of doing Mist, keeping all my girls together. With a smaller litter like this, I probably um, am not going to struggle knowing who is who too much, but some of these bigger litters, those puppies sure look a lot alike, and keeping the males and females separated in the photos. <laughs> Hi, Sprinkle, come on over. Um, makes my job when I'm going through 500 pictures a lot easier. Oh, boom. <laughs> the entire basket just got dumped. I'm gonna just see if I can turn this so you can see this. How do I do that? There, there they go. Gosh, We're exploring. Back over here. Okay. Everybody's uh, nails are done now. Nails go. are done. Check. Okay. Well, they say we're not being basketed anymore. You can see here she's a little stiffer with her front end, and we're just going to give her that second to let those stretch out underneath of her. There's really no forcing that you can do here. It just takes patience and wait on the puppies to feel comfortable. <laughs> Thunder decided to explore some of Aiden's toys. Good. So now we're going to get a little bit here. There she goes. Good. Those look good. Now, I will say, when you start taking your pictures, there is no substitute for a healthy puppy. You cannot make unhealthy puppies look healthy. So fat, sassy puppies, and the reason ours look fat and sassy is because they're healthy. And they are fat and sassy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, noises from behind them will get them to perk their ears, right? Missed. Looking at her litter mates. Let me see if I got that one. And I did. Perfect. Live photo is amazing. All right, you come here. Nope. These guys have no fear at all of anything. <laughs> They're uh, romping and playing. Good thing we have baby gates set up <clears throat> over our house for Aiden. <sighs> okay. Try and stay there for half right. a second. Thunder, your turn, buddy. Can last, make, it, make us proud. Very not least here. He already moves. Sometimes you get puppies that are really good at moving. And that almost makes it harder. The puppies that want to stand still makes it a little easier to get pictures. When they're too movy, it gets hard. Oh, he said I already moved. Move that foot, he says. So there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let me see real quick. I scroll back through some of the pictures I've taken, see if I'm happy with them. Let's try one more round. Um, he was turning his head a little more into the yogurt, so than I would like to see. So we'll see if we can get something better. But for round one of stack hey, puppy photos, hey, stop. it's not a bad start. Stop. Stay in there, guys. Almost done, buddies. Stay put. Rain, just stay put. We need, we need to maybe put them in a crate. Well, That's going to be the next step of their development is crate training. This is I'm too wiggly. And sometimes I get greedy as the photographer and try and get just one more good picture. And they're out. He's not leaning quite as much as he was before. Mm -mm. 
Okay. Well, I'm still happy with the pictures that I got before. Let me get a face shot. <laughs> there they are. Running around. Thunder. He says, I see my sister over there. Puppy. Thunder. Woof. Meow. Pop, pop. Well, did I catch it? Nope, but it's too slow. Pop, pop. Thunder. Yeah, got it. Perfect. Well, well let me grab these snatch guys. Them up, snatch them up. You got one more? Did she just potty on the floor there? Uh, let me check. Right there in the corner. Feeling, feeling, feeling. No pottying. No pee that I can feel. Come here, miss. Oh, now you're going to play with grandpa? Nice try. I can't reach her. Okay, here's Sprinkle. I'll grab Mist. <laughs> well, that process was fairly quick, fairly painless. Um, now, if we had to multiply this by three or four, three, three. Probably for a really big two litter. or three, yeah. Two or three for a really big litter. Um, it definitely can take a little more time. But thanks guys for watching. We will know for next time that we need a better basket. Bigger, taller walls, more, more controlling space. Mm -hmm. Usually at five weeks old, the laundry basket still holds them. You guys are being extra exploratory. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check back on some of the previous videos if you haven't seen how these guys have been developing so far. And give us a like, give us a thumbs up, and we will see you on their next puppy pup date. Thanks for watching. Thank you.